welcome to Learning Mode. Today we are thinking about learning with Play-Doh and um, how you can be used as an educational resource. And we're going to look at counting and how we use Play-Doh to help us with counting. So um, James got a little figure here, which he loves little figures, and we've ruled out the Play-Doh flat. And I'm just going to ask him to do some counting and some stamping. And um, so he's really using that one-to-one -one correspondence for the numbers and actually just really developing those counting skills. So James... Can you count to five with your little creature? Can you do five footprints? What do you think? Right, count as you go along. No, you can do a whole stamp. Stamp them. Do, look, I want you to do it like this. Let me show you. Stamp. Oh, look, there's his little tail and his little feet. Okay, right, you ready? Okay, right, you ready? Right, so can you do five and count as you go? One, two, three, four. Oh, lovely. Cool. Right, now this time, um, this is a nice big green tree, okay? And this time I want you to give me mm, seven apples on it. Can you give me seven apples? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Lovely. Now, we're going to do something even more fun. This time we're going to have a wee bakery shop. Could you make me um, some buns? What do you think? Could you make me three buns for my bakery shop? One. Are you going to take it out? Let's see. All right. Two. Take it out. Three. Oh, I got one of his <laughs> You've got a footprint in that one. I see a wee doggy yeah, biscuit, isn't it? I think they could be doggy biscuits. Yeah, that one too. Yeah, that could. So how many have you got? Uh, three. Three. So a really nice way of just actually counting and matching.